In this video, we're going to look at a few examples of equilibrium constants, and then we'll also calculate an equilibrium constant. Remember that an equilibrium constant helps us to predict if a reaction is product favored or reactant favored. So let's say we mix hydrogen gas and bromine gas. To what extent will these reactants form products? And to what extent will these reactants just stay as reactants inside the flask? Well, the KEQ value, or the equilibrium constant value for this reaction, is 1.9 times 10 to the 19. Now, this number is a very large number, significantly larger than 1. So we could say that this reaction lies to the right, or we could say that this reaction is heavily product favored. So that means if you mix hydrogen and bromine, almost all of the hydrogen and bromine will get converted to hydrogen bromide gas. So once again, this is product favored because the KEQ value is greater than 1. Let's look at a second example. Nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. If we mix them together in a flask, to what extent will they make nitrogen monoxide? Well, the equilibrium constant value is 4.1 times 10 to the minus 31. So this is a very, very small number. So a very small number is less than 1. So this reaction would be reactant favored. And this probably makes a lot of sense to you because you know our atmosphere is predominantly composed of nitrogen and oxygen. So what would happen if the nitrogen and oxygen from the air reacted together to make nitrogen monoxide? Well, that'd be terrible. That means our atmosphere would mostly be nitrogen monoxide. So you probably already knew that this reaction lies far to the left. All right, let's calculate the equilibrium constant. So nitrogen press hydrogen will make ammonia. Given the following equilibrium concentrations, we're going to calculate the equilibrium expression. So at equilibrium, the concentration of nitrogen is 0.15 molar. The concentration of hydrogen is 0.2 molar. And the concentration of ammonia is 0.5 molar. So let's write the equilibrium expression, and then let's calculate the equilibrium constant very first thing we have to do is we have to balance the equation. Because remember that our equilibrium expression demands that we have um, the coefficients written in. So here's our formula. The concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So our product is NH3 and it's raised to the second power. That's what we see here. The concentration of NH3 raised to the second power. And our two reactants are nitrogen and hydrogen, raised to the first and the third power. And that's what we have here, the concentration of nitrogen and hydrogen, raised to the first power and the third power. So let's plug in the concentrations. Now, if you crunch the numbers, um, what you would discover is that the equilibrium constant is 210. Remember what that tells us? Well, that tells us that this reaction is product favored, or that it lies to the right, meaning if you mix nitrogen and hydrogen, most of the nitrogen and hydrogen will be converted to ammonia.